Delighted to be joined by uh, Desi Dole, an iconic figure underage, especially for me anyway, but uh, for a lot of Westmead uh, underage players. Uh, it's great to have Durrelson on board as a sponsor for the 2018 and the following season. Yeah, this is a massive launch, in fairness. To have, uh, I suppose the main thing is to have the fixtures laid out for the, the young players and then for the development squads as well that they get their training in. I think that's really important. I think it sends out a great message to all the clubs like, you know, to get organised and to let people know, parents know and to plan a little bit, and I think that's what the GA is missing, sadly, is a bit of planning, and in fairness, Billy Foley tonight, he mentioned with the senior team, uh, senior fixtures are out, now the underage fixtures are out, very early, it's Mar middle of March, I think it's a great achievement to everyone involved. And you know yourself from playing underage football, uh, getting a little bit of gear, the socks and shorts, uh, get Keep you motivated to play the Gaelic football. And, uh, Absolutely. I suppose the main thing, the main reason to play when you're under 12 or 14 is to get a Westmead top and to be very proud of that top. And I think to have a sponsorship, a sponsor like the Radisson, it's a big step for Westmead football. To have a, such a big sponsor getting involved with our underage teams, it sends a very positive message. And I suppose all the youngsters then are wanting it on the panels and want to be involved and get their tops and get their gear. And it's all very positive for Westmead tonight. And there's a lot of positivity around Westmead football at the moment, but it uh, has to be said with the minor. Uh, the, the underage and the minor, the, the wall, the wall planner is a great idea. Absolutely, I suppose you wonder why it wasn't done before because it, so, it makes a lot of sense. Like visually, it's, it looks great. Um, it has the whole year planned out. It lets the team organise themselves and, and lets the parents know exactly when things are happening. And uh, Desi, the hurlers and footballers are going uh, pretty well at the moment. Uh, Division two uh, looms for the, the footballers and Division one for the hurlers. Uh, it's a great occasion, and especially for the hurlers on Sunday in a league final. Yeah, I think it's a massive game for the hurlers. I met the hurlers a couple of months ago at the launch of the Westmead GA website, and I'm very impressed with the physique, the fitness levels that Michael Ryan has instilled in his team. I expect them to win on Sunday. I think that the players and the quality that they have and the momentum that they have, they're unbeaten in the league so far, uh, stand them in good stead. Um, the footballers, footballers are winning games at the right time. I think that result against Fermanagh, they were four points down with ten minutes to go, shows great character. But I'm not surprised. Like We've had excellent footballers. Joe Regan, John Heslin, James Dolan. Uh, Luke um, Lachlan has been a massive plus this year, I think, for us. We've given them a bit of edge. Like, and they're playing Longford. And I know Longford are very good. The players like uh, Mickey Quinn is an exceptional player but I think they're down a couple of players Barry Gillen got sent off last week McGivney has uh, left the panel and I do think Westmead just with a little bit of experience and the quality should win that game and get promotion to Division 2 which would be a great achievement for them lads and you have to hand it to uh, Colin Kelly obviously a tough job to come into after being beaten so much by Dublin last year he's really rejuvenated that panel of players and uh, given, given them plenty to fight for this year yeah no in fairness like going into Division 3 this year you didn't know how things were going to go whether they're going to win games or you know, struggling in the division, but it's a very impressive start by Colin Kelly, and I think by all regards, the lads are enjoying the training. Said his training techniques are, are excellent and uh, very much a football man, and they're enjoying it. And I think that's really what it's about. I suppose after a difficult year last year, it's important that the lads regroup and enjoy it. But as I said, I think Luke Lockton. It just has something special about him. He's a very direct runner, and I suppose a forward that can score is you know, going to make a big difference. And no, it's very positive for Westmead, and hopefully now we get a good campaign in the Leinster Championship. And lastly, I can't let you go without uh, touching on your own career. You're still playing club football, uh, seven <laughs> points. Uh, I heard last Sunday in the first round of the league. Uh, how's that going for you and Gary Castle this year? Um, uh, Gary involved, is, of course, as manager. Yeah, my baby brother's involved, so <laughs> I suppose when he's involved, he kind of tells me what to do. Uh, look, a lot of frees. Um, I'm just there. You, you try your best. Um, Gary Castle probably are going through a little transition themselves as well. Like We're not the team that we were maybe 10 years ago. But it's important maybe to give a little bit back to the younger lads and try and encourage them and get more confidence at senior level. And We'll see how the year goes. But look, I enjoy my football. I'm kind of addicted to it. I don't know how long I'll play for it, but um, at the minute I'm enjoying it. Yeah. And unfortunately, the Maris uh, got beaten in the Leinster final last week. Were you at that game? Uh, I was not the game. We played the Maris earlier on in the year. And to be honest, I was really impressed with the quality of the team and I'm disappointed for Paul Kelly and John Parker and Owen Jordan I did a great bunch of lads Clannock Gale players uh, Bridges players at Lone, Gary Castle a lot of strong clubs there were feeding into them they look very good going into the final on paper I, I fancied them to win it they'll be disappointed like, but I suppose like everything they're a, they're a great school and a great tradition and they'll get other days and I'm sure they'll get a chance to rectify it